Hello everyone, this is Rocky representing Lucy Lecti. Tea time is a chance to slow down, pull back and appreciate our surroundings. I'm happy to be here sitting in front of you and making another useful video for you guys. And today we have a three different kind of green teas and we're going to analyze them, drink it and see uh, differences between each other and benefits. So today we have Anji Baicha, Bilotrun and Alpine green tea. So green tea. Green tea has lots of different cultivars in China. We have many, maybe more than 100, maybe 1000 different cultivars and those all cultivars is unique, has unique aroma, taste, texture and uh, it's good for us because we really can find the tea which one we like it which one we like the maybe uh, aroma maybe like a, a texture maybe a taste so maybe a appearance yeah and to make a green tea has a different kind of steps and one of the thing is very important when the, the, you pick up the tea and when you pick up the tea that starts oxidation process and this oxidation process is important because uh, the last oxidation process is when you're getting a black tea so if you want to get a green tea oxidation process we have to stop very quick when you pick up the tea you have to start making and and you can get that uh, sense you can get the aroma taste uh, which one belongs to green teas all right so first we have here angibaicha angibaicha is uh, uh, early picked uh, spring tea and this tea is uh, picked uh, before Qingming festival which one is in, in April 3rd, 4th so this one picked up in March 29th and uh, these teas we can see like it uh, belongs to premium teas because we can see it's so, so vibrant the color so vibrant this tea is from uh, Zhejiang province from Anji plantations and it's picked up one leaf and one bud see you can see it's a very beautiful tea you see very beautiful and uh, these teas uh, uh, when you're brewing is I recommend to use uh, three four grams for 100 milliliters so today we're going to use uh, this uh, glass guy one for, for this tea so first what should we do now so we have to to warm up the teaware so I'm going to warm up the teaware it helps us to 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 prepare the tea to to, to set the to make a temperature suitable for for our tea to help here aroma to to open all right so what about this tea so this tea is it's really famous in China and Anji uh, You can find where to buy it, but not so high quality. It's very hard to find high quality to buy this tea. So Anji Baicha. So like I said, three, four grams. And the temperature we're going to use is 80 to 85 Celsius is the best. Actually, you can make experiment. You can use 90 degrees of Celsius and see the quality of this tea. Because if you're going to use a high, uh, higher temperature, you can uh, you cannot get a bitterness taste if your tea is high quality, top grades. You cannot get from this. I mean, just about talking about Anji Baicha. So we're going to use 80 to 80 90 degrees. We can make uh, we can make uh, about five to six infusions. So first we're doing just quick rinse. Just put some water, not so much. Let the uh, leaves to, to to be under the water. Yes. So first, just like this quick greens, we're going to do this greens to, to clean the to clean the the leaves to to open the leaves more and we have to pull out the water very quick. We don't, we don't want to use all this nutrition this tea has. So now we're going to to smell aroma and aroma is so strong so strong we can get veggie 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 notes so very strong veggie notes mm. i can feel asparagus 
spinach. Mm. Creaminess, little creaminess, that I can feel creaminess. Very rich taste, with, stitch, with uh, tea is very rich. Mm. Look at the color, the color is so beautiful, beautiful color. All right, so now we're going to taste this tea. Let's try it, let's do it. By the way, this tea uh, has lots of amino acids. So this tea is really famous with amino acids. And this amino acids is in catechins and this, this uh, things can give, help you for your, for your, for your body. It's good, very good. Boost your immune system, uh, helps you focus, uh, helps, uh, helps to relax so for infusion first of use is 25 seconds is enough so you can use uh, every time you can use leaves to to roll the leaves to make them uh, to infuse in the water more deeper to get more richer flavor all right so it's about the time This Anjibaija, one of my favorite teas, green teas. Aroma is so deep, so deep, rich aroma, fulfilling all the, all my, my nose. All right, let's open the gun, let's let the tea breathe. Look at the color, look at the color. It's bright, green, yellowish, yellowish, it looks more, not so much, but the color is beautiful. All right, it's time to taste this tea. Mm. So deep, so deep. The texture, texture is very thick, so thick. You can feel this tea in your mouth. In your, it's like making like a like a bubble inside. Them. It's really souring umami, really savory umami taste. I can feel asparagus, spinach, like veggie notes, very strong with teas, very strong with veggie notes. The color, so beautiful. Veggie notes, very strong veggie notes. I can feel some flora notes, not so much. Most of them is veggie umami. The taste is magnificent. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful tea, beautiful tea. Yeah, this tea is really famous in China, so famous Anji Bai Cha. And like I would like to say that Anji Bai Cha, Bai Cha means a white tea, but uh, but we call it uh, for that is for reason, because the, the leaves and the buds, when they are so small, they, they have a color is like, a, it's like milky color, it's like very pale color, very white color and uh, and that is why we call it Bai Cha, but this is a green tea. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on. Next one we have here, we have Bilo Chun, Bilo Chun tea, called uh, uh, as well, very famous tea in, in China. And uh, you can find this tea to buy everywhere. But the thing is, like lots of sellers, they're trying to sell this tea in a very low quality uh, and medium quality teas. Uh, we're trying to to like uh, increase the double triple prices and trying to sell as a as a top grade tea so you have to be very familiarized with tea you're going to purchase you have to, to look, you have to look at the leaves you have to you have a smell aroma so you see this is as well uh, early spring premium tea uh, from uh, uh, picked up before Qingming festival and process is is, is, is really different from 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 Anji Bai Cha process. This process is making uh, uh, as well like you pick up the leaves and you firing uh, on the pan fire and you have to use a very small amount of leaves to 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 fire it because uh, this leaves has very thin. This leaves very very thin leaves is very different from another teas and uh, you have to use a small qu quantity of leaves. And after that, you have to rub between your hands to get this 
spiraled spiraled shape. Let me try. You can see it's like spiraled shape T. The shape is totally different. Like as we see Angie Baicha, shape is like a sword, straight like a sword, and this one is like spiraled shape. It's different. Alright, so this tea, what else about this tea? So like like I said, you have to you have to if you want to buy a, a high quality tea, so you have to look at the the buds, the buds has to be white, strong white color. You cannot see like a yellow or some brown, so it means that the maybe quality is is is, is down, is, is low quality, medium maybe quality. And you have to find like fluffy hair, it has to be fluffy hair on the tea. So it means it's, it's picked up very early in the springtime. And this tea is from Jiangsu province, next to Taihu, Taihu Lake. And uh, this tea uh, picked up, like I said, in early spring tea. And you have to try to find the, the color, it has to be like jade green, green, strong green color. And it has to have about two tones of color, so white colors of buds and like a, and leaves has to be green. It can be some light greens as well, like light green is okay for buds as well. I mean for, for leaves, not buds. <laughs> Alright, so so this tea, let's try it. So we have here 3 40 grams. Uh, I recommend to use as well 80 to 85 temperature of water. Don't try to use too more to more high uh, water temperature of 90 and 85 because really you can get a like bitterness taste because this tea is very thin. So let's try it. So let's do a quick rinse. Quick rinse, quick rinse. Want to to help open the open the teas open the, the leaves the color i can see the color is a little different the color is a little more more darker okay i'm going to to smell the aroma now mm, aroma is totally different from this tea is very different this is like more is like Spring is more like meadow, meadow, meadow notes. Spring, raw youth. You can feel like a, like a spring flowers. Yeah, I can say like spring flowers. No fruitiness. I, I cannot know. Maybe a little bit of pear, like juicy pear, but just a little. All right. So let's try to drink this tea. So this tea we only infuse just ten seconds. Is enough because this tea is very. Thin, like I said before, so just 10 seconds before infusion. We can make four or five infusions every time you get more and more different uh, taste, aroma is more and more coming stronger and stronger, and the four or five is going down. For low quality teas, maybe you can get just two, maybe three infusions, and uh, it's lose the uh, taste and aroma very quick. Maybe one, two is very, very strong. So, you, if you see like this like one, two very strong and three is nothing so you can really recognize the low quality teas. Mm. All right, so let's taste it. I wish to show you a color. You see, so you can compare the colors. You see, this is more darker color for sure, more darker. Let's taste it. Mm. Very different taste as well from this tea. Is like really, this is spring, spring, strong spring tea. Like this is grassy, but this is like a sweet grassy and meadows. Uh, very sweet in the end. You can feel so sweetness. Like this is raw, this is raw tea, youth tea. Very nice. Mm. Spring floral notes, floral notes. Little bit you can feel veggie notes, but just little bit, just little bit. Yeah, this tea is good, has benefits for your health. So this tea has uh, A and C vitamins and 
help, helps you to, to more focus, lose your weight, it is prevent from cancer and uh, regulates your, your circulation of blood. So it's really, it's really has lots of benefits with tea. And like I said, this is very famous tea and uh, in China with Anjibaitra, we very famous with these top teas and if you want to find good quality, you have to be familiarized with your tea, what tea you're going to buy and where you're going to buy and you need to know the, the location where it is growing, uh, when it picks up, the process, you have to be very familiar with tea. All right, so let's move on. So we have a last tea here. <coughs> we have Alpine green tea. This tea is not so famous in China, but in this in Chindo, Chindo province, we really like to drink this tea. This tea is, is from, uh, from Zhejiang province and the elevation of this tea is about 800 meters and this tea, I, I forgot to tell you, this is from, from uh, uh, Jiangsu province and the, the high mountains is about 700 meters and this tea is from Jiangsu province too this is uh, mountains is about 900 meters so this tea as well uh, picked up before Qingming festival is a uh, early spring tea you can see the color it's really vibrant, it's like jade green very very strong color and this tea uh, uh, making process is really different as well from all these teas uh, they they pick up put on the on the tray they just want to wither it with it two three hours and later they they firing on the pan on the fork that big one and uh, later they using a bamboo tray and they rolling this tea so they get the shape. This rolling shape is gonna be. Maybe you can see rolling shape. So it's it's really different. This is like I said, this is like straight, like a sword, like a violin string. Oh, this one is like spiraled, and this one is a rolled, rolled bamboo trace. So yeah, it's different different process to making this tea so let's try it let's try this tea as well temperature the same for green teas 80 to 85 uh, some of teas like we has like this tea has more like the leaves is more like fat more strong the leaves so you maybe you can try a little bit 90 degree you check the, uh, the quality of tea did you get bitterness on that or not all right quick rinse Quick rinse, quick rinse. Okay. We warm up the tea wear and we left the tea to wake up to, to let the aroma spread out so that that's mellow again. So different from those teas, so different. Very sweetness like fruitness i can feel fruitiness strong fruitiness i can feel uh, uh summertime uh, flowers floral notes floral notes but summertime is like more like sweet juicy and very sweet little bit like a honey i think like that you get like from flowers from this summer flowers yeah and juiciness 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 sweetness okay let's try to to drink this tea Right. First infusion, wait, uh, wait uh, 15 seconds is enough to get a, uh, you can always, like I said, you can always use a guy one to, to roll the tea leaves to, to let them spread more and more and you can get this infusions like uh, five infusions to get this tea and every infusion you just added five seconds, five, so now it's 15 second infusion, 20, 25, you just added, adding the, the time, it's about the time. So let's let's try it. Let's try it with gorgeous tea. So beautiful. Mm. I like this smell. I really like this fruitiness. All right. So let's check it with the color. It's quite similar. Very similar with Angie Baitra's color. Almost same identical colors. Is different from uh, from Bilochon. Bilochon is more like deeper color. All 
or I'd less taste it. Mm. Thickness is about medium, medium. Not so, not so thick, but the taste is really like sweetness, very strong sweetness. Again, the floral notes and juiciness and with uh, fruitiness. I can feel a little bit of uh, of creaminess, not so str not so strong like Angie Baichak has more creaminess, and Bilochon quite similar with uh, with this. Uh, Alpine green tea, yeah. So this is like totally different teas, taste and aroma. Like we can see, like this one is really we can get a sweetness, juiciness, freshness, uh, full filling as well. This tea is really full filling, and this tea and Bilochon is more like a raw tea, is youth tea, is like a spring, springtime, early springtime. And Angie Baicha is more veggie. Moving in yumi, yumi savory note, uh, veggie notes, asparagus, spinach. You see, all these teas are green teas, but you see, the taste is totally different, aroma is totally different. So, I'm very excited to try this tea, and I feel very happy. So, after this recording, I'm going to to finish. I want to do two free infusions more with these teas and enjoy my time with these teas. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope so you have a great time with me and you know more now about the teas and uh, what we'd like to say uh, remember i would say about the benefits of this tea the benefits is it helps you to clean the the your intestine your stomach from toxins like so this tea is really good for that so like i said this tea is good for for losing weight for regular your blood pressure and this tea is good for boosting your immune system and more like focus focus in your work so like i said thank you so much Please uh, like our video, comment below, subscribe our channel and we just moving more and more and more. We're going to do more videos about teas and uh, I hope so you're having a great time. So thank you so much. Rocky from Loose Select Teas saying good goodbye, cheers and balance your day with a cup of tea. So see you. Okay.